And we are back, continuing on with our Skyrim adventure. Soap here. Ah, back indeed. It's been a minute since I've played Skyrim. Not like months, like I usually refer to. Now I knocked out already three episodes at the time of recording this. Three episodes I've recorded. Two of them are uploaded. One of them will come probably uh, on a Monday, most likely. This one will be on Wednesday. So here we are. It's been a minute. Got me a new mic stand today. I can move my arms up and down without hitting anything. Wonderful. <laughs> it's out of the way. It starts here. It goes this way. Or say it starts. Let me do this. Starts there goes that way comes this way and then up to my gullet ah what a good day <laughs> still need to get my new mic cable i have like a 20 something foot i think mic cable <laughs> from my old setup whenever i had to run cables like all around i wanted to make sure i had plenty of cable now it just needs to go from here to like a couple of feet this way but it's got to run through the mic stand, and a little extra slack, just in case they decided to move it around. But anyway, that's not why you're here. You're here for Skyrim Adventure. So, we turned in a quest. Let's just, can I hop down? We did the Riverwood extortion last time. I remember that much. And now, I believe, we can level up. So we're going to head out. White Run, uh, go just outside the town, set up camp, get a level. If I recall correctly, we should be able to level up. And then we'll just keep looking for more bounties and things like that that we can do. So, White Run Stables. Now, I haven't decided. This little loading screen reminds me. I haven't decided on a guild as of yet. Because unless for some story reason, you know, if something like were to happen. If something were to happen uh, that made us kind of slightly abandon our ways, the Dark Brotherhood is out. They deal with vampires. They got a vampire that works for them. Thieves Guild. Here or there. Uh, mages, you know, that could be beneficial to learn more magical capabilities to help fight undead and all that. Like the very first quest you do with them, you're in a crypt fighting undead. All right, we're getting tired. So just real quick, let's come over here. Build the campsite, just real quick. Let's get a little bit of sleep. Uh, it's 10, I think a good 10 hours of sleep will do. Okay, so we're not leveling yet. We, la we have to get like a touch of XP. All right, um, so we might as well get ourselves some sort of qu uh, quest. Let's go back over to Whiterun real quick. Real quick. Blah, blah, blah. Can't talk. Come over here. Fandal, how's it going, buddy? Mm. Whiterun in the morning. Talk to me. I will say, well, we're coming over here. Uh, at time of recording this, the first episode in this series on Skyrim has like over 2,000 views, which for me is just ridiculous. I know if there was another, I think it was, it's going to be the third episode where I mentioned it's over 1,000, and it's already doubled that, and then the second episode's got like one point something thousand, just craziness. You guys are awesome. So... We need to come on over here. Good to see you again. You're not looking at me. Um, 
Looking for some work? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Okay. Valtheim Towers. Okay. Be careful out there. We will. So, we all know where Valtheim Towers are at, where they are located. So, don't need to run too much further. See? Right there. Alright, go here. Yeah. Hopefully you guys are enjoying what's going on in the Skyrims and what we're doing. And then, of course, we've got the going through Dark Souls 1, 2, 3 and Elden Ring with the same build and Baldur's Gate 3 are all starting nice for a ride. currently. All of that's going on. So, hopefully you like some of it. <laughs> hopefully. All right, so let's make our way over this way. Make it away. And let's pick up, you know, little ingredients along the way. A little bit of Nern root over here. Might as well get that. That's a new ingredient for us. So let's come over here. Nern root. Sample those goods. Let's just make sure. Nothing else. Nope. <laughs> good to go and also let's make some new saves just playing it safe we have a habit these past couple of Skyrim specifically videos of uh, a certain program doing a certain thing that we don't like I don't want to mention it because it might hear us all right what else we got uh I'll pick up a little bit of thistle sure Wait a second. We have a horse. But it's like way over there. I see you, buddy. I see you. Way off in the distance. He's kind of following, trying to follow us a bit. Here he comes. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know how well he'll show up on YouTube being off in the distance, but because of the LOD, the LOD mods, <laughs> I can see him. Hi, buddy. How's it going? All right, Feindal, you're good to come on foot, of course. All right, just over the bridge, just a bit. There is a necromancer, though. And we could fight a necromancer. There's also some wolves. Oh, I thought I could get the gap. Feindal's slowly... Let's see. Huh. Oh, missed. What spell do I have currently? I have candlelight. That's not going to help us. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, that lock on did not help much. <laughs> All right. A little bit of wolf pelt. Um, as far as our horse goes, you know what, buddy? Just... Walk along, do your thing. We'll catch up with you. It gets dangerous up here. All right. A little house up this way. I don't know which... Or a little farm is what it really looks like, not just a house. Okay. Oh, butterfly. Let's come on over here. Take a little look. Boom. Swallowtail, butterfly wing. Let's sample the goods. Burden. Thanks. Uh, just to show you what burden is, right here, reduces uh, enemy movement attack speed by 3% for 60 seconds. So since we consumed it, technically we are the enemy, which is why it hurt us. So if we can ever make a burden potion, put that on something, you know, a little crossbow, a little sword of some kind, we could do that. That's what burden is. All right. Just make sure the camera's all set, because we can still zoom it in, zoom it out. We can switch shoulders as well. It's just for some reason it looked slightly off to me, but that's okay. A bit more thistle. All right, so right up here should be a necromancer.
I'm gonna just walk right up there, little oh, sidewalk. There was. What do you do? Damage magica, thanks. Right when we're getting ready to fight. Soul gem fragments, value to weights 50. A soul gem fragment, sure. A little lavender, why not? White peacock flower? What'd you do? Restore stamina, okay. A beneficial one. Let's just be ready. Get our rune at the ready. Okay. There's our level. Oh. I was kind of hoping our... Okay. Necromancer is down. <laughs> Just a little extra double check. These skeletons didn't seem to drop right away. Alright. Ritual stone um, can summon or reanimate one additional minion, but their summoning and reanimation spells last half as long. We might as well burn down this stone if we could. We're definitely not reanimating or summoning or things like that. Uh, nothing of value here. Nothing. Imagine that. Filthy necromancers. Gimme. Oh, where are you going? There we go. I go uh, rally. Resist poison. Okay. We like that. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and save. Alright, now. A few hundred meters away from Vault Time. Mr. Fox over here on the road. How's it going, Mr. Fox? couple of wolves over there as well. You stay away from our friend. Let's just slowly make our way up this way. Nope. No, you don't. Double kill. Oof. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, and they got both head rings. Helts and rings on both. Yeah. Game, can you generate some more wolves like that? Help us make a little bit of money. Or maybe do some enchanting of some kind, you know, something like that. All right, so it's right up there. So here is the strategy that I have found uh, in my testing of this particular area. There are a lot of bandits in Valtheim Towers, a lot of them. Uh, at least, I think it's three or four of them are uh, marksmen, so they have long range attacks. Not too bad. The rest of them, though, are pretty much all melee. And that's all right over here. Some of them are in the second tower here, a couple are on the bridge, and then some of them are in this first tower. So, what I come with, uh, as. I forget who it is in the comments, Brave Sir Robin ran away, is I will lure them out down the path, and I will make my way uphill right here. There's some steps. There's a little bit of fire we can see at a distance. That is a giant camp. And uh, we try to encourage the bandits to uh, sign up for and participate in the Skyrim space program. That is the idea. Now, we've got Feindal with us, so, you know, we might have a little bit of a diversion tactic that's right behind us. That's the idea. So, before we really dive in, let's come over here, set up camp so we can get our level. We're just going to do, like, a quick one hour sleep. Just like that. Alrighty, so... 140 on our health, 125 on our magicka, but we are getting a, a slight boost to that. Stamina wouldn't be bad. None of them are bad, uh, but what's the most beneficial? Uh, Possibly stamina right now. Alright, let's take a look here. So, destruction, 
we can't do anything with just yet. Still got to work on that. Restoration. You know, we might be able to grab something there. Alteration we might dip into as well. You know, something like that. Oak flesh, fire shell lasts three times as long. What do we got over here? Resist 25% of incoming magicka and stamina damage while under the effects of a flesh spell. Unarmed attacks deal elemental damage while under the effects of an elemental spell shield. Otherwise, it's all mage armor. So we may not actually dip into it, but we also, you can see right here, we got two perk points to use. Enchanting will probably get to some point. Smithing, maybe, maybe not. One-handed, can't really do anything there. Archery, not yet. Light armor, can't do anything with. Sneak, not really doing much of. Security, opening locks, picking pockets. Speech, I mean, buying and selling price is 10% better. No harm grabbing that. What do we got in Bounty Hunter? 25% more gold from completing bounties, which is what we're definitely doing currently. As you see, there's a little barred one here. So speech has got some valuable, you know, little bits. Alchemy, though. Those are stronger, and we can do it right now. So I think let's get what we can, which would be restoration and our alchemy. All right. Two perks for hitting level five. Go ahead and break camp. All right, sweet. And a new save. Alrighty. And here's previously what I talked about with the clipping, how it the capes and cloaks will just clip right through. Now, if you like turn, you know, it looks great. Everything looks cool. But as soon as you have your back to the wind or even like your side in some cases, like slightly to the side, it'll just go right through you. Small complaint, but not not even much of one. And I don't know enough about creating mods to say, oh, why don't you just do... <laughs> to fix it. <laughs> Alright, so real quick, let's make sure we got a rune at the ready. Because we are going to lure down some of the bandits. And then start making our way up that way. Uh, Feindal's probably, if we're being honest, just going to run in. Would not surprise me. And there they are. They notice us immediately. There's all the bandits that have noticed us so far. I'm just going to get a rune down. Oh, some ingredients are flying in front of us. Is someone there? And there he goes. So actually, we might be able to do... Yep, one's coming up. Oh, right there. Missed that. Oh, we are getting pelted currently. Let's real quick do some heals. All right, Fandal's doing some work. We got hit. They are no joke. Alright. Oh, with the slow reloading. Give me that. Thanks for wasting time. <sighs> okay. See? I mean, granted, most of that was on me for getting. trying to get range stuff in from that close. So let's do it the way I would actually normally do it if I was playing a ranged character and let's get the ranged stuff from range. So we're gonna go ahead and come up this way a little bit first. Because if they want to come up here and fight us, they're going to pretty much get funneled in into more or less one area. 
except for all the ranged ones. So, let's get our crossbow. All right, I'm going first person for this because to get true range shots, you don't, we don't do it in third person showing the exact trajectory and arc and all that other stuff. We want to do it for real. So like this guy right here, probably gonna need to be up just a touch. And right here, up just a touch. Oh, he moved just a bit. Okay, let's relocate just a little bit. See, a couple people right here shooting it. Who knows what? One of the cool things about this mod is the little names and the nameplates with the health bars and showing their level. But for doing stuff at range, it hinders a little bit. All right. Right here. That one didn't work as well. I don't know how many bolts I have. Let's look. Uh, bolts. Steel bolt. Uh, 58. Okay, we got it. We got enough to work with this for a little bit. And yeah, they're very preoccupied with something else. What's that? Lavender. I think we're good on that for now. Now that one marksman we first shot has gone off somewhere. Ooh, be careful. Do not fall down the crevasse. Thank you very much. Now right here, it looks like that's just a chair. <laughs> so that's not going to be much help. All right, currently getting colder. Here come all of them from over there. Let's see if we can get a longer shot. Nope. Didn't hit one. That's fine. Got their attention. Uh, or or they. Don't see anyone down here. Mainly along the bridge. Okay. Fair enough. And if we were doing this as a sneak char character, be doing totally different tactics. I suppose kind of bouncing back and forth. Oh, I thought they were going to keep going a bit further that way. That's okay. Yeah, he went around. Let's not waste the stamina and take the shot. Let's relocate a bit. Right about here-ish. Let's see what they're doing. All right. There's one. And also relocate. So that way they don't get a really good look at us. Oh, that one seems to have just fallen off. Don't want none. He was like, all right, deuces. As the kids say, yeet. <laughs> all right, right here. Oh, just above the head on that one. Like I said, it makes it tricky with the little markers. But that's okay. Just keep bobbing and weaving. Check, you know, see if they come down here sometimes along this little uh, wooden path. That's okay. Again, Feindal, feel free to start taking some shots, buddy. All right. Got one going out on an adventure. Is there one? Nope. Okay. I was thinking there might have been one up on top of here because of that little little health bar that was popping up, but alas. All right, this one's getting a little bit closer. So let's get ready for them. 85, 86, 7. So they're, yeah, they're having to take the long way in order to get close to here. So, let's do this. This, just be ready. There they are. Funnel them in to right there if they come up here. 
unless they potentially get stuck. So now we've only got two. They're kind of looking. Hi there. Oh, that missed a bit. Let's lure him over here, potentially. Right over here. That's where we're at. Okay. There we go. Oh. Oh, we're two-handing two the katana, too. I did not know we could do that. I thought it was just going to be one-handed. Oh, we got some more. They're coming up. It might just be because we had nothing in the offhand. That might be it. Let's see what they do. Also, let's make another save. Is someone there? Hello? Feindal. Oh, was not drawn. There we go. Boom. Back to here. Back to that. Boom. All right. Sorcerer is making their way over this way. Same tactics still apply. I did. Sorcerer's way down there. Let's see if we can actually get a shot. Nope. That looked like a sidestep, sort of. Oh, can't see him. Blind shot. Sorry, sorry, Fandal. <laughs> sorry, Fandal is what I meant to say there. All right. Otherwise, we got at least four left, from what it looks like. All right. A little bit of gold helmets. Oh, Fandal, buddy, come here. Need the trade. What can I get for you? You can trade some stuff with me, please. Sure thing. Okay, real quick. Take that. Um, stamina increase, Magicka regen, Magicka is our current one. That's the boost that we were getting. You can take the stamina necklace. And the pugilist. Sure, why not? Otherwise... What do we have that is taking up so much weight? I mean, I've got an idea, but let's see. The spear. Yeah, it's our main weaponry. Is the thing, along with our armor and all that. Uh, have some food. A little bit of that. Why not? Um, also... My ingots and the ores. That's better. Okay. Need anything? You just say the word. Will do. Let's look at what we've picked, or who we've picked off, and what we can pick up. Uh, healing, always good. Gold's good. Everything else can stay for now. A little bit of this. Actually, that helmet. Hold on. Oh, there we go. That might be better than what Feindal has currently. So let's Can see. I help you? Trade again. What do you want me to carry? Yes, it was. All right. Uh, I think that's it for now. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Will do. Otherwise, let me double check back on this. Not better than what we're carrying currently, or wearing currently. All right, so back to what the task at hand is. There's at least three left. Potentially four. So we got one there, one here. Yep, there they are. And then right over here. But it seems as if the leader might be inside this tower. Namely, there they are. Okay, so we're dealing with at least four of them. That's fine. Let's just make our way back. 
and I thought there were some others around here that got taken out. But there was more loot to be had. Feindal, where is it? That's okay. All right, currently cold. That is going to be a slight detriment to us, but nothing major, at least currently. It will get worse, though, if we leave that unattended. And also, we haven't made a save for a minute. There we go. I don't know if we've got any uh, marksmen left. Let me actually heal while we wait. Okay. Get back to our rune. Oh. The little dart wing. Not the duck. But, there we go. Damage stamina. Restore health. Okay. Double check the others. Okay. All right, so there's one on the bridge for sure. There was another one walking over here just a little bit ago. The leader seems to be relocating back to their usual spot. Second tower near the top. That's fine. Let's move in closer. See if we might be able to kind of funnel some of them down. Did not realize they were going to be right there. Leather Scout Boots degraded. Careful, I need to watch out. There is another marksman. They went right past Feindal, my goodness. Okay, real quick. Get a touch of healing if we can. Okay, there's another marksman. Let me just double check this stuff. We're good. They're really ignoring Feindal. Okay. Um, double check. Okay. Now, we should just have the leader. Should. A couple of dart wings. What do we got here? Ooh. That armor rating actually is a good amount better than our current armor. So it may not look as good, but we need better armor where we can get it. That's heavy armor. I'm going to give those to Feindals just in case. Give him a steel arrow as well, buddy. Can I help you? Okay, let's switch cameras so it doesn't look as weird. Well, we're basically face to face, so no matter where we look. All right, uh, trade. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Let's get you that and that. Let's get going then. All right, now we're back to sleeveless. Now, just to double check that it's just the bandit leader that's up there. All right, I just see the one red dot under his little marker. It's moving with him. So unless he literally has someone else attached to him, it should just be the one. should. Alright, is he moving closer? No, he's actually moving further away. That's what it seems like. Now I'm not really moving at all. Now he's moving further. Okay. So we got a moment. We have nothing to cook. That's okay. 
right. Potions. Any good books? Um, there is Candlelight. Seems to be a popular spell. Some salt. Uh, steel arrows. Fandal has the one, so hopefully he can keep using that. This trap has already been triggered. And opened. Interesting. Alright, otherwise... Uh, do we know Bleeding Crown? Yeah, we do. Okay. Juniper Salt Pile. Take those, of course. I think we can't cook because we don't have any meats that are uncooked. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Let's see. Some taters, precious. Or some tater. What's, what's, what's taters, precious? Gold. Healing potions, thank you. Soups, good. Uh, garlic, wine, gourds, cabbage. Nothing, like, really, really useful there. Let's check up here. A little healing. We can grab some sleep if we need to here. More healing. Some stew. List of warts. Okay, clothes. What about up here? Uh, hanging moss. We don't know that yet. All right. Let's just give that a check. Damage our magicka in the process. Oh. Oh, he is close by. All right. Um. Nope. Cast. Oh, that's not good. All right. We're going to use some tactics here. He probably can't get us to be specific right here. Nope. He doesn't know how to handle it, which is fine. Gives feigned all a moment. Where is he going? Oh, Feindal's dead. Like, dead dead. Okay. I think our Frost Rune may have did Feindal in. Ooh, don't have enough magic up. Let's hit him with some Frostbite, shall we? we might be able to pepper him. Nah, that's too risky. That's way too risky. Real quick switch back. Cleared it, but at what cost? Okay, so real quick. See, we're about to get Feindal some sweet armor. It's okay. Buddy Feindal, it's perfectly fine. Alright, uh, that armor. Uh, I mean, it's got a okay value to weight ratio. Buddy, buddy. We're gonna have to pick up some stuff off of you, I know. Value weight that's really high. This. Those. Carrying too much, of course. So we might have to utilize 
Um, actually, can we camp in here is the question. Let's see. We can. Okay. So we can utilize the storage that is here in our campsite. Nope, oh, not shelter. Cancel. Storage. There we go. All right, so real quick. Let's put in a bit of that. These arrows can go in. Stuff we're not wearing. Uh, what else? All of those. Four ingots. Yeah. That'll be good for now. Alright, what else? Um, the enchanted stuff, sure. So there's another enchanted thing. Look at that. We gave him our book. And key to his house. Take all of that. Those. Everything else, though, value to weight wise is not all that great, except for a few things. We're not going to take what he's wearing off. We'll leave him some dignity. All right, real quick, back to our storage. So I need to just drop off those. For now, those, those. Um, we're going to keep that on us. And then the ores, the tusk, all the ingots. Okay, now, what we're going to do is pick up some stuff, go sell it, come back, pick some stuff up, go sell it. That's the idea. So we're not going to actually break this campsite, so that way we can travel exactly to it. So... As far as what I want to pick up and sell, all of this stuff, some of this we can potentially sell, disenchant. What are we? Hmm. Two, three, you say. A bit of that, you say. Okay. You can't pick up a whole lot. Uh, we have too many weapons on us is the main thing. Okay, so let's see if we can go back to White Run real quick. Potentially sell some stuff because there's going to be more loot that we're going to find in this place. So we got to we got to do some back and forth here. 718. I don't know if anyone's going to be open to sell. Four Maidens is open. Okay, that's good. Let me know if you see anything you like. Hey. Welcome to War Maidens. Now don't let the name worry you. We got plenty of steel for fighting men. Making out with your husband, right? Like, literally right in front of me. Take a look. Alright. I would like to sell those. Everything else should be okay for now. Good doing business with you. Indeed. So, we can also make a little bit of leather as well, just real quick. Just like that. All right, now, we travel back to our campsite. Pick up some more stuff. Go back. You know, just do a back and forth, except now what we're going to do is pick up some stuff and go to sleep. Our horse is here, <laughs> buddy. Good to see you. All right. That's the enchanted stuff. This is probably not going to be worth anything. Um, let's get the non-enchanted stuff for now. And then... 
I need I need to figure out something for our carry weights here. All right. Um, what can I put back? How we're over by six. All right. That armor. Okay. So for now, we'll grab a little bit of sleep. Um, let's do good 12 hours. So that way, by the time we wake up and travel back, the shops should be open. Oh, I'm gonna do this instead. White Run. Actually, we picked up books, a little bit of armor. Ah, it's the first day of winter, so now, as you can see, these streets will now be covered with snow, even though it's raining. One of those small little little changes that I thoroughly enjoy. Welcome to War Maidens. Now don't let the name war sell. Take a look. Okay. A lunar war axe. At night absorbs health. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna sell it. If we really, really need to do at night getting health, we we'll probably do something else. All right. Um. Thinking. Okay. Yeah. Good doing business with you. Indeed. Yeah, I was thinking like, what can we do with a spear? But when I at least have a couple of things that are good against undead, you know, more is just in case. All right. So hopefully, not too much longer of doing some of this stuff. All right, um, buddy. Eh. Yeah. Horse. Oh, did not mean to get on the horse, but there we go. Okay. Thank you, buddy. All right. So from storage. I think I'm just going to leave it right now and actually go explore the rest of the place. You be careful. <laughs> Should rename you to Roach. Careful. And what I need to do for sure is just take a moment, look at our storage, and potentially even just set up a campsite somewhere to actually, you know, like come through every once in a while, drop stuff off until we can get a more more permanent home, so to speak. Right, we got a few ores over there. Uh, potions, garlics, elves here. Can we make any potions and poisons? We can make some. This will probably take up our weight pretty quickly. So I'm going to leave it alone for now. Let's come on up here real quick. So, you know, do a little bit of searching. Searching. A little bit of archery insight gained. Always nice. Health potions. Yes, we like those. Alright, um, another stew. But eggs, I saw we. Yeah, we know the eggs. Good. Better. Okay. That is locked. Come back to it. Let's just come up here. Grab the master key. More soup. There is an imperial boat of frenzy living targets up to level 10. Have a chance to attack anyone nearby. Well, it would have been nice to give the feigned all, but. It's okay, I guess. It's fine. 
Alright. Push. Mm, give me that. Alright. All of it's valuable. We're taking it. Nothing in here. That key that we picked up can open up this, which has silver ingot, a pile of gold, a coin purse, coin purse, pile of gold. There is a ring. If we can get it. I'm just gonna... There we go. More pile of gold, ingots, carrying too much. A backpack, finally. Oh, good, okay. So, backpack. Carry weight is increased by 50, but your movement speed is reduced by 10%. There are different types of backpacks, slightly different effects, but, oh, thank you. That's gonna help a lot. All right, come on, snap it on. Juniper berry, salt piles, of course. More potions, any, yeah, there's another potion in there. There we go. A steel sword of sapping, it deals two magic damage. Imperial bow of corrosion reduces enemy ardor, armor rating by 50 for 30 seconds. We could have given that to Feindal. Ah. We actually might be able to disenchant that and then throw that on our crossbow, potentially. I'm gonna take that. There's a bit of armor. Fade away, nah. Doesn't seem to be anything else in here that's gonna be really, really useful. So, um, so I think we're good on that. Oh, another chest. Push. Ah, uh, weakness to poison reduces enemy poison resistance. That, in combination with kind of where we're going of using poisons, that's a nice little thing to know. Oh, and tab, not tab. Alright, so from here, let's just save before I do this. Ugh. Okay. That was almost a thing. Uh, yeah, we already got that. That was just like a little treat, so to speak. I'm curious, can I, if I come here, break camp, it's gonna take back everything. We're carrying too much to be able to run. Will it let us fast travel? No, remove. Cannot fast travel. I was hoping it would. That's okay. All right, so let's get out of this. So that way our horse We'll stop trying to spawn in here. And our stamina is going down as we're encumbered as well. So, another thing to look out for. But, it's alright. Just want to get down here. Just a bit. Oh, and there's also another thing I wanted to show you that's actually back up and across. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Carrying too much to be able to run. I know. Now, can I just set up a little camp right here? Let's see. Good. Good. All right. Let's access our storage real quick. Drop in those. There's another steel sword, bit of that, bit of that, yeah, and just basically everything we are not wearing, got a lot of potions, that's fine, 
A lot of food as well. Ingredients. All right, we're 226 currently. That's with a bunch of ores as well. So I want to look at taking the non-enchanted jewelry. 229, okay. Uh, so we got, what, 21 left. So that'd be 24. That would be 17. This would be 21 exactly for these. And first, let's go back to Dragon's Reach, collect our bounty, see if we might be able to disenchant some of these items as well. That could be something to do. We can sell off the jewelry. Now we're over encumbered, are we? Mr. Fatigue. I think it's because of the cold. That's okay. That's all right. I'd rather not drop something and hope that it's here. We should be fine once we start to warm up, though, namely once we get inside. Let's see if my hypothesis is correct, which, well, it sort of is. Here, let's go over here. No active effect. That's at least detrimental. But this is 250. It's like it's like right on there. It's it's having a hard time kind of computing that we're like right on the edge of I guess we're like a point something over. That's fine. Let's at least sell what we can here. Barngard. Take a look. Okay. Let me sell you some stuff. I'm gonna turn in our bounty papers as well. Don't need those. And all of these. All right, almost at level five. We're getting there. Okay, I think that's good for now. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Thank you. All right, Proventus. I serve Jarl Balkra as steward. Okay. Uh, bandit leader Valtheim Towers is dead here for that bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Thank you. 100 gold. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. All right. So now, what do we have? Oh, yeah. Disenchaining. That's right. That's right. I almost forgot. What, what's this? Oh, there. nothing that important. Okay. Um, frost damage. Sure. Silence. Sure. Spirit of Daylight. No. There's our level five. It's one thing I miss is they took away the... Whoa, whoa, yeah. The bow of corrosion. Got that. All right. Let's see. If we were to look at the hide, we can't enchant it. That's fine. Not worrying. Okay, so now let's do a little bit more of the back and forth. And then we'll get our level as well. But I'm going to save that for next time. I'm going to do the back and forth in between kind of figure out where I want to set up a camp, which is probably going to be like right outside of Whiterun, where we've been doing some sleeping. Uh, if I need to, you know, have somewhere to go get a little bit of storage. But then the downside of that is I have to make more camping supplies if I want to do more camping while I'm out. So I'll figure all that out. But we got another bounty. Took a little bit. A little bit of uh, selling and all that fun stuff. We got to level five, though. That didn't take too long to do at all. And uh, there's another follower we're going to get. Sorry if I hit the microphone there. Uh, but that's going to do it for me. And before I go, as always, 
Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys later.